from Television City in Hollywood, we bring you the Jack Benny program with a special guest, Johnny Ray, presented by Lucky Strike. Lucky's tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky's tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. For Lucky Strike means buy tobacco, richer tasting, buy tobacco. Lucky's tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky Strike, Lucky Strike. You can actually see why Lucky's tastes better when you strip the paper from a Lucky by tearing down the seam. First, you see Lucky's are made better, made round and firm and fully packed to draw freely and smoke evenly. And second, you see, Luckies are made of long strands of fine, light, naturally mild tobacco. Everybody knows LSMFT. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So remember. Lucky tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky Strike, Lucky Strike. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Lucky Strike program. Well, here I am again, and I, you know, as much as I like television, and I do, you know, I'm really crazy about television, the only thing that bothers me is that I, I hate the fact that we have to have our rehearsals, you know, every Saturday and Sunday, because uh, in that way I have to miss all of the big football games that we have, you know, particularly this time of year. And, uh, you see, I'm such a, I love football, you know, I'm such a fan of football. As a matter of fact, I played football when I was a kid. You know, I used to play with the Waukegan Wildcats. <laughs> and, of course, this was years and years ago, you know, way, way back. Uh, we, as a matter of fact, uh, we had the Statue of Liberty play before there was a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> and, of course, the, uh, the game, football, was so much rougher in those days. Were you ever stopped on the 20-yard line by a tomahawk? <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, that's about the silliest thing I'll say today, I think. <laughs> No, really, in those days, you know, when they cheered for the Indians, they didn't mean Stanford. <laughs> well, anyway, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as you probably know, by the way, Mary, how do I look in Palm Springs? She's there right now. You know, I, as you probably know, uh, today, on my television show, my guest star is Johnny Ray. And I must tell you that I almost did not get him for this show. And, you know, I didn't sign the contract until a week ago. It was a week ago last Thursday. That's right, a week ago last Thursday. Uh, let me, uh, you know what happened? But, well, let me show you. Let me show you exactly what happened. Sitting 
here all the time? Uh-huh. With the phone, didn't you hear the phone? Uh-huh. Well, why didn't you answer it? This is my day off. <laughs> Or even if it is your day off, couldn't you pick up the receiver? And anyway, if your day off is so precious, you know, if it means so much to you, what are you doing sitting here? I had Why didn't nobody. you go out? I had nobody to go out with. Oh, well, what about the girl you went out with the last time I gave you a day off? Since then, she got married and has two children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she threw you over, eh, and fell in love with somebody else. Oh, no, boss. She still loved me, but she married this other fellow on account of money. Money, huh? You mean he was rich? No, but he had some. <laughs> hey, Roger, so you know, I had a... I had a real tough day today. You did? Yeah. Had to rehearse my radio show and take a lot of publicity pictures. Boy, I'm really tired out. You are? Mm -hmm. You know, I was thinking on the way home, too. Here it is, Rochester's day off, and I'll be all alone. I'll have to fix my own lunch. Gee, I'm glad you stayed home. You know, I don't even know where the eggs are. <laughs> Fix myself a cheese omelet or something. <laughs> Rochester, are you sure the eggs are in the refrigerator? Yeah, you'll find them on the top shelf. Oh, yeah. Well, I couldn't have been in here very long. One of the eggs is still warm. Put on your glasses. You've got the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> Rochester, where's the frying pan? In the drawer in the stove. Look, Maestro, I hate to bother you all the time. See, but where, uh, well, how do you make a cheese, cheese omelet? I mean, what do you have to use besides eggs? Well, some cheese and some milk, and if you like it kind of thick, add a little flour. Mm -hmm. Flour, huh? <laughs> Where's the flour? In the right-hand cupboard on the bottom shelf. Oh, yeah. Rochester, why didn't he answer the door? This is his day off, so he stayed in the house. He didn't feel like going anyplace. Mm. Look at Don, I'm fixing lunch here, a cheese omelet. You want to come in the kitchen and help me, and I'll fix it for both of us. No, 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 Jack, no more food for me. Mm -mm. Not me, I don't want any more food, you know. Uh, Don, you? That's right. Well, what happened? Well, now, I'll tell you what happened, Jack. You know, for the past three months, I've been on a very strict diet. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know what happened, but uh, I'm just tired of carrying around 260 pounds. Well? Well, this morning, when I got on the bathroom scales after I took my shower, I found I weighed 215 pounds. Well, what are you mad about? 215 pounds? That means you lost 45 pounds. Yeah, that's what I thought. When I found out my stomach was hanging on the wash basin. <laughs> oh, Don, you made that up. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a wonderful joke. We can use it on the radio show. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> Rochester, that's a wonderful joke. Why didn't you laugh? This is my day off. <laughs> I'm, excuse me, Don. I'm going to fix myself an omelet here. Okay, Jack. Gosh, Roch. Glad he left the room. Why? I was afraid he's going to ask me about the commercial I'm supposed to do on the television show, and I just can't think of an idea. Well, Mr. Wilson, it shouldn't be hard to think of nice things to say about Lucky Strikes. Oh, I don't have any trouble with that, Rochester, but I want a musical commercial, and doggone it, I just can't come up with anything. Well, what about that old song that's becoming very popular again when the Red Red Robins come bob, bob, bobbing along? We just did that on radio. Oh, yeah. Look, Rochester, I've used about 20 matches. Now, how do you like the stove there? It's electric. <laughs> song that uh, you could use. It's one of my favorites, too. What is it? On the sunny side of the street. Hey, that's a great song, Rochester. You think it'll lend itself to the commercial? Oh, I don't see why not. You could do something like, um, wait, I tell you what, you could do something like this. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries. On the doorstep, just direct your feet to the lucky side of the street. Yeah. Smoke an Ellis MFT, and you'll never have a rough one. Life can be so sweet on the lucky side of the street. Just let your taste tell you why. Lucky strike you should buy, and you say, me, oh my. What smoothness and mildness. Yes, it's L-S-M-F-T. Lucky strike me by the back door. Just direct your feet to the lucky side of the street. Thanks a lot. Anytime, Mr. Uh, okay. I'll get it. Oh, darn it, there's someone at the door. Don't worry, boss. Oh, thanks, Rochester. Mr. Wilson's getting it. <laughs> Who is it, Don? Messenger oh. boy, Jack. He brought this envelope for you. Oh. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Don. <laughs> Jack. Mm -hmm. Jack, I, uh... I gave the boy a quarter tip. Oh, that was nice of you, Don. <laughs> hey, Don! Hmm? This is the contract that Johnny Ray sent over. You know he's gonna be on my television show. That's great, Jack. You're awful lucky to get him. I'll say I am. <laughs> Give me a, a, a pen. Where's the pen? Here. Here's mine, Jack. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Don. Boy, I'm pretty well... I'm tickled to death I could get Johnny Ray for this show. <laughs> See, uh, 
Hey, wait a minute. What's the matter? I'm not going to sign a thing like this. Why not? Well, he's got a lot of nerve for asking for this kind of money. How much? He wants $10,000. Look, Jack, I know $10,000 is a lot of money, but Johnny's worth it. Who's worth $10,000? <laughs> Look, Johnny Ray always gets that much money for his personal appearances. He always gets $10,000? Yes. Then why is he crying all the time? <laughs> giving him. Now, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. I'm going over to his house and tell him a thing or now, two wait, about... Wait just a minute, Jack. Calm down a little bit. Now, please don't make a fool of yourself. After all, Johnny Ray's a big star, and his singing style is so unique. Why, Jack, I saw Johnny on a show once, and he had the women in the audience just hysterical. They really were in ecstasy. Why, they even tore off pieces of their clothing and threw them up on the stage. Oh, Don, that's a lot of foolish, foolish emotional women. If he thinks I'm going to give him $10,000 for this one performance, he's got another guest coming. Now, I'm going over there and tell him a thing or two right now. Look, Jack, I go right by Johnny's house on my way home. You want me to drop you off? Yes, Don, thanks. All I'll right, go come over on. Right now and find out. Okay. So long, Rochester. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Jack Benny. Is Mr. Ray in? I'd like to speak to him, uh, Yes, he is. I'll tell him you're here. Oh, thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Oh, hello, Johnny. Hello. Sit down. Make yourself oh, at thank home. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thanks. Anything I can do for you? No, 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 not a thing. I, uh, Johnny, I just came over here. I wanted to talk to you about your, uh, your appearance on my television show. Jack, I've been doing a lot of thinking about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. For you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Johnny, you know, I got that contract you sent over, you see, and I couldn't think of signing a thing like this. You mean the deal is off? No, no, it's not off entirely. I mean, I, now I don't want to sign the contract that you gave me, but I brought a contract over myself that I, uh, I'd like to have you sign. <laughs> Something wrong? This is a contract? <laughs> yes. Jack, I've been around the world twice, and my ticket was shorter than that. <laughs> well, Johnny, you see, I've given the same contract to every member of my radio cast, and they've been with me over 15 years. You mean they signed it? Well, I'm hoping they will. They haven't finished reading it. <laughs> well, Jack, I thought that the contract that my agent set over was more than fair. Why don't you sign it and set a deal? Look, look, Johnny, now, as I told you, I gave this contract to Don, to Don Wilson, to, to Dennis, to Bob Crosby, and to Mary, and, and look, at here's a pen. Here's Don's pen. Sign, <laughs> sign, <laughs> sign this contract. Jack, you must be kidding with the salary you want to pay me. Uh. $2,500? Oh, let's see, that's a mistake. That's a little mistake. That's $250. <laughs> $250. Yeah. Hmm? What's the matter? The clause? Oh. What's this clause oh. here, Jack, where I have to pay you a thousand dollars commission? Oh, that's that's ten percent of the ten thousand dollars that you want. You see? <laughs> oh, Johnny, Johnny, don't read. 
Don't read that next clause. That even embarrasses me. <laughs> now, look, Jack, this is getting us no place. If you want me to be on your television show, you're going to have to sign the contract that my agents drew up. Well, look, now, wait a minute, Johnny. Let's talk this over. I'm not paying any $10,000 a week, and what's the use of kidding about it? I'm not going to give you $10,000. <laughs> well, Jack, I sing a couple of songs in a nightclub, and I get that kind of money. I'd like to hear the songs that are worth $10,000. But, Jack, I want to be fair with you. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll sing a couple of tunes, and you be the judge of what they're worth. Oh, all right, go ahead. $10,000. <laughs> You're gonna miss your loving daddy from now on. And just remember, if you can't say things that sound real nice, well, you better keep your little mouth shut. Mm -hmm, that's your daddy's advice. Now, now listen to me. You go your way, I gotta go mine. It's sad, but it's true. But now here's a little kiss, and I hope for that this. My gals are getting hey. kind of funny. Makes a lot of difference. Oh, and exciting events, the tobacco auction, the rapid-fire chant of the auctioneer as he calls out the bids on a basket of tobacco, the alert tobacco buyers, key men in the drama of the auction, men of sound judgment and years of experience in tobacco buying. Here, one buyer has found a basket of exceptional quality, leaf of almost perfect color, weight, and texture. He signals his bid, but other buyers want this prime light leaf. The price goes higher and higher, but when the top bid is made, it is... Sold American. Sold to the American Tobacco Company, the makers of Lucky Strike. 
Another basket of light, mild, fine tobacco. Yes, at auction after auction, year after year, the makers of Luckies consistently buy the light, the mild, the good tasting tobacco. That's why you can be sure that Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Fine tobacco in a better made cigarette. A round, firm, fully packed cigarette, which just naturally adds up to better taste. After all, smoking enjoyment is all a matter of taste, and the fact of the matter is, Lucky's taste better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. So be happy. Go lucky with a carton. I finally gave him fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You were a wonderful audience. I'd like to bring my guest star back again, Johnny Ray. Just a Johnny, it was really, it was really wonderful having you oh, on the Jack, program. Believe me, it was all my pleasure. Thanks. And as you know, I'm appearing at Cyril's here, and I want you to come out tonight and be my guest. Oh, for dinner? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. As a matter of fact, it's a good friend of ours. In the wings right now that's going to come out and join us. Friend about who? Danny Thomas. Oh, Danny. Danny Thomas. Come on out here. Danny. Danny, this gives me, I'm glad you're here, it gives me an opportunity to congratulate you on your own television show, Make Room for Daddy, and to welcome you with the lucky strike with the American Tobacco Company family. We're all with that family. Thank you very much, Jack. And uh, now that I am working for the American Tobacco Company, too, I'd like to ask you a little favor. What is it, man? I mean, uh, think you could take a little cut in salary? <laughs> I? I should take a cut? Why? Well, I've been on for seven weeks and they haven't had enough to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I mean, let's make room for Daddy, kid. <laughs> Daddy, I'll think about it. But your Thanks. show is really wonderful. Thanks, Fellas, I'm glad you like it. You better get started for Cyril's, and remember, tonight, you're my guest. Oh, hold it, John. No, the treat is on me tonight. Thanks. But I'm working there, no? That doesn't matter. No, I answer. <laughs> no. You fellas are going to be my guests, and that's the way it's going to be. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's flip a coin. What? I said, let's flip a coin. Flip a coin? Okay. And oh, the, you mean uh, the three of us? The three of us? <laughs> yeah, the odd, odd man loses. The odd man. Odd man, Let's yeah. see. Have you got a coin? <laughs> okay. The odd man. Odd, odd man. man. I got tails. I got tails. <laughs> the odd man loses. <laughs> you got heads? Yeah. If the waiter brings a check that seems too high, it's no secret you feel better if you cry. All right, go. One week from tonight on this same station, Ann Southern returns in private secretary. The Jack Benny program has been brought to you by Lucky Strike, product of the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. This is Don Wilson saying, be happy, go lucky. Sunday's Ed Sullivan's Toast of the Town on the CBS Television Network.